Hwasan is going to move in for another drop. Oh, there are air defenses all over the place. So I don't know where Hwasan is going to be able to send those. Although, quite a few forces in those drop ships. So I think at this point, Hwasan has already kind of, you know, equaled out the economic situation. Although he, he has a fifth base there. He's not mining from it yet. But Loma was denied his fifth base for a while. So Hwasan is pretty much, you know, he's not lost too many units. He's managed to prevent a fifth expansion going up from Lo for Lomo for a while. And, you know, he's a huge mass in the middle, which pre is preventing Lomo from moving in, to trying to take, because, as I said, you have to be extremely careful there in this in this kind of thing. Engineering break going to go down, yeah. No more turrets for Hwasan until for now. Those <laughs> six dropships still flying around, seeing where they can drop. I think, you know, really, if you find a position, if you scan the opposing battle line and you find a spot where there are no goliaths at all you should be able to drop right in there and just take out a huge amount of tanks so yeah Hwasan now possibly gonna really go for a drop this time and Loma also several dropships down ooh Turt's gonna take down a command center for Loma ah Loma forced to move away one of his command centers losing his fourth Ex losing the expansion that was his fourth one so ma the match apparently is slowly but surely I don't understand quite how but the match is slowly but surely moving towards Hwasan's favor he has more expansions up he's mining for more expansions he's preventing Lomo from really setting up or mining for more expansions and both players are preventing drops so ah dropship gets taken down there but Lomo manages to move out the rest of them uh, very very long match that and I think uh, very soon enough though uh, we're gonna see an end point here one player is gonna be able to drop something or gonna move out because you can't have this kind of silence at all times Lomo there with a huge amount of tanks uh, Goliaths and vultures that are mo going mobile so him and SCVs of course to support so you might think might be thinking about doing something finally you know, you <laughs> while sitting with the master, you eventually get sick of just sitting there and just waiting for the lull. So yes, he is going to move in right into shelling of Hwasin's. Going to siege all of his tanks and hopefully he can take down Hwasin. But Hwasin has a very nice line. And whoa, set also drops going in from behind. But those are mostly unsuccessful due to the mass of Goliath there. Lomo walking, uh, yeah, shake of his head there. Drop failed. Dr drop shoots and everything in them apparently taken down. And uh, a bunch of the... Tank units moved in right into Hwasan's superior positioning, get shelled the hell out of them. So, at this point, I think Hwasan. Whoa! Wow! Seven starports going down for Hwasan. Holy. Okay, never mind. Several starports, two armies, and five starports. Holy crap. Is he gonna go for battle cruisers? Man, that would be so, so awesome if he went for battle cruisers. He could effectively, he couldn't fo go for ghosts. A physics lab going down. Oh my god! A physics lab going down. So he is gonna go for battle cruisers. Hwasan is gonna, we almost never see battle cruisers there these days, but in late game Terran, that's what you go for. You could. You go for huge amounts of battle cruisers. Battle cruisers, in and of themselves, are not that great. Drop down, going in, nice engineering bay blocking for for the air charge, and nice draw, a bunch of tanks and Goliaths going in. They're going to be nice. Your players going to be able to take down this expansion before Loma can do anything. Good move there, blocking forces by Lo by Lomo that are trying to move in and save this expansion, and they should be able to yeah prevent the CC has to fly up, lift off and fly away to the Goliaths who oh boy and wow look at all those star ports five star ports and two armories that I assume are going to be used to guard to upgrade air weapons and air armor so he's gonna go all in with just full-on battle cruiser ownage battle cruisers as I was saying one, one by itself a battle cruiser is not that great but when you have a critical mass of battle cruisers they shoot all at the same time in one unit. They can take almost anything. And with the Amato gun, you know, you can also do some pretty awesome stuff. So Lomo is now decisively behind. Only three bases against Hwansen's five or six bases. Hwansen economically ahead. And, he's just, you know, this... And, of course, I don't think Lomo knows that this is coming. So he's going to, you know, he's going to macro just a bunch of tanks. 
some Goliaths, some Vultures, but you know, just a few Goliaths can't take down like a, two control groups of battle cruisers. Oh boy, per pardon me if I'm a little bit surprised. I haven't seen a battle cruiser in a StarCraft match for a very long time. And those dropships are quasin still flying around. You know, just trying to find something for going down. Uh, Lomo moving down again, trying to see if they can do anything, but Hwasen is exceptionally well positioned to counter this. Uh, so yeah, Lomo did eventually take down those units there that were harassing his, f his fourth uh, command center, but, you know, <laughs> he has to build up all the air turrets again. Uh, probes transferring there, going to take some fire. Unfortunately, I think those are more scouting, you know, spotting SCVs than anything. Yeah, battle cruisers on the way. Battle cruiser reporting. These are my people, my people in the battle cruisers. Why do you think you put a Russian to pilot the battle cruiser, huh? Hwasen now again moving out forces, dropping forces to take down Lomo's fourth expansion. He's just not going to give the guy any peace. No peace for you, Lomo. No expansions, no nothing. Lomo, this is just slowly but surely, you know are transforming into Lomo's defeat. I think Lomo, you know, he, I think Lomo's just gonna, either gonna have to go for push. Yeah, Lomo now sees the battle cruisers. I mean, he has does have a few Goliaths to counter these, but I think, you know, with the, the amount of tanks and battle cruisers and everything that Hwasen has, not gonna be able to push out Lomo. Lomo, oh man, gets just, just gets, you know, trying to push in, but just gets shelled by the GG there. Oh boy. Nice match, but uh, Lomo unfortunately just gets taken over on all sides by Hwasen. And as soon as he saw those, well, as soon as he saw those battle cruisers, he just ah oh, crap! Tanks and battle cruisers, I can't deal with this. High five for everybody in the STX. So we're moving into the ace match. Awesome! <laughs> Thumbs down for by Hwasen. You suck, Lomo. GG. Hwasen.